these protests, which we've seen on college campuses all across the country, they are not monolithic. There are pro-Palestinian protests. Some of the protests are calling for a ceasefire. We've also seen anti-Semitism on some of these college campuses. My question for you this morning, do you think the Biden administration, the president, has a role to play in this moment in addressing what we are seeing in these college campuses? Kristen, it's a really good question. And, you know, it, this is a tough one because people have a right to protest and make their views known. And almost, you know, overwhelming percentages of people do that peacefully. Uh, but there are those who intimidate or harass others. There are those who speak in hate speech or anti-Semitism. And so giving people the latitude to do what they ought to be able to do and, and, and also trying to curb unacceptable behavior is tough. Here's a role that I think the president can play. We know of places where maybe these discussions are not being done the way they should be. They're not being done civilly, but there's also some universities that I think are doing this right. And one of the things that I think it might be important for the president or maybe the education secretary, Secretary Cardona to do, is hold up some examples mm -hmm. of colleges in the country, and I think there are a number of them, where discussions about difficult topics like Israel and Gaza are happening, but happening in a way that really can be a model where people can express their points of view on tough issues, but not um, not feel intimidated or harassed because of the positions they hold. Oh. So I think the president can use the bully pulpit to kind of hold up some good examples. And I would hope that he and other members of the administration might do that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.